almost there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Somehow forget always this one, one thing here. Welcome in. Good. Good morning. Welcome in. How are you doing? We're starting in just about three minutes. My name is Marcel. Welcome in. Notification gang. Hi, Pumpkin. How are you doing, Pumpkin? Is you, are you also teaching in the yoga fund? It's great. So my name is Marcel, but I'm not alone here. Of course you know. Sean is here as well. How are you doing? So, Sean is here for entertainment, energy, and motivation. I'm here for uh, support, the questions, and the instructions. And we are going for some meditation, as stupid as it looks on stream. We're going a lot of going for meditation. And uh, so, I'll explain quickly how the meditation is going. Yes, I am. That's great, Pumpkin. So, yeah, we are going for meditation and the meditation will be about inhaling and exhaling and we're doing the same meditation every day. It's written in the left side, left top left side, it's written down and every time you lose the connection with the inhale and the exhale, you, so you're really focusing on the inhale and the exhale, we're shifting the focus back to the breath, back to the inhale and the exhale. So if you come to your thoughts, easily let go of your thoughts and effortlessly let go of your thoughts and come back to your breath. Additionally, you don't want to judge yourself, so not thinking about, oh no, I'm not doing good, I'm al always in my thoughts. Don't do that, just, just move your thoughts a little bit away. So, looking what's going on, observing your thoughts and then letting them be and coming back to your inhale and your exhale, knowing that you're doing super awesome. So, please come to a great set. If you'd like to join in into this meditation, we're going for 25 minutes and then 5 minutes of Shavasana. So, feel free to join in. <coughs> Root down through your sitting bones. Sit up on either some sitting pillows or down on some books. Feel that the legs are rooted to, through the mat, through the floor and through there. Slowly focus on your breath more and more. Good. And let's start. And we hear each other in 30 minutes, uh, in 25 minutes already, as I get you into Shavasana. So enjoy. Enjoy.
anytime you feel like changing your sitting posture, please feel free to change your sitting posture. Forgot that.
slowly lying down on your back, releasing your breath. Extend your legs. Feet are facing away from each other, arms are lying by your sides. And palms are pointed up towards the sky. And just be. Release your breath, just be.
Slowly start to move your fingers, your toes, stretch your arms, and come back to your body in your time. Stretch your legs, your arms. And we're slowly transitioning towards yoga. So take your time sitting up. And I quickly need to set up the scene differently. And then. And then we continue putting on some music. Okay, let's go. How are you guys doing today? Thank you for following shot. Oh God. <laughs> We're getting raided by people, by people that uh, that spam us. Great. Um, wait. Do we have like subscriber only mode? No, we don't want to do that. But hey, um, we are going, we are going, how are we doing this? We're firstly setting up the, the music and then we're just doing some music. Okay, is music running? Should be running. Now it's running, now you can hear. So, Alpetovich Master, you're not a, you're not a spammer. You are a spammer. <laughs> okay. We are going for some yoga. If you like to join in, feel free to join in today. But you know, if everybody's just following me, if they're, they're putting that on follow, so it doesn't do any use here at all. So today's topic is air. And if you have any suggestions, for this yoga lesson, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, come to the floor, sit down on a sitting pillow. Sit down on a sitting pillow, make yourself comfortable. Come into a good sit. Yeah, we are sitting again and on a sitting pillow. We're rooting our sitting bones down and we're getting longer to the top of the head. So, okay. Breathing in deep and out. Feel the sitting bones connected, get longer to the top of the head. So you want to feel the perineum that's between the anus and your genitals and you want to create one line drawing up from your perineum to your top of the head. Feel the feet connected to the floor wherever you are, if you're sitting in a floor, if you're if you're sitting up in a chair, feel the feet connected to the floor, breathing out and breathing in again. Breathing deep into the belly, 
to the chest and one time we bring the left hand to the belly right hand to your chest and we're breathing in deep into the belly feel how your left hand rises and then breathe in deep into your chest and feel how your mind maybe slightly rises your chest but kind of like you could also breathe into your back so try to breathe into your back then just not just press your chest out but breathe in your back as well and breathe out release great breathe in again belly belly moves on breathe in into your chest and out again let's go one more time into our belly in in your chest and release release your arms by your sides Bring your arms up by your sides, palms are pointing forward. Get along from your sitting bones to your top of the fingers. And then breathing out, releasing the arms down by your sides. And in again, breathing in. And breathing out, releasing. Breathing in again. Get along from your sitting bones to the top of the fingers. And then breathing out. Last time. Breathing in. Get long, long, long. And breathing out. Release the arms by your sides. Stay here. And bring your arms to your thighs, your hands to your thighs, and start to move your hands forward and backward on your thighs. Feel the palms connected to their thighs. What kind of feeling is coming up as you're doing this? Yeah, what kind of feeling, what kind of maybe even emotion is coming up as you're doing this? Additionally, what do you feel? It's not the same kind of feeling on your hands. What do you feel on your thighs? Good. Move your hands and your rhythm forward and backward on your thighs. And from there, move your shoulders forward, then upward, backward and down. And again, forward, upward, backward and down. And forward upward backward and down doing kind of our same a little bit the same routine every time in the beginning of the yoga lesson so to settle into your body to connect how your body is feeling to slow down maybe even great Ah, from here, release your arms, bring the right hand to the right and get long from your left sitting bone to your the top of the left hand. So feel more length, get longer for the left side. Meanwhile, keeping the right side long as well, as good as you can. Great. Draw the belly button in and up a little and bring your chest in a little. So not pushing your chest out completely, but Bring your chest in a little bit and bring your shoulder blades on your shoulders on, on the back together if you can and release bring the left hand down bring the right hand up feel the right sitting bone connected with the floor and get long through the right sitting bone to the top of the right hand meanwhile keeping the left side long as well great job Bring your belly in a little bit, your chest in a little, and release. Great. Bring your arms, your hands, I mean your hands together in front of the heart. 
and softly, softly connecting the interlacing the fingers together and start to move your wrists into one direction. And by the way, um, if anybody has some su suggestions for what we're doing here throughout the yoga lesson, please let me know. So yesterday, uh, I can see Cuddly Cactus asked about a uh, back session, a back practice. And you know, the funny thing about that is if you start, so no, about, about the back uh, relieving, se relieving session, not like strengthening session, but release, releasing session. Yeah, releasing, back releasing. And the funny thing about this is that in e every yoga lesson, yeah, some, so maybe not in the beginner yoga lessons, but in an, a little bit advanced yoga sessions, just little, little advanced sessions, it's always going to be about your back a little. So you're always strengthening and releasing your back a little bit. So it's such, such a wonderful practice to do yoga if you're doing it regularly. Um, you most likely won't have any back issues if you do it correctly, right? And release, shake your wrists out, your elbows, your shoulders. How is it feeling? How does your body feel? Let's shake the arms a little bit longer than usual and the elbows and the shoulders. Maybe shall shake them a little bit more to the back, to the side and forward. Let's experiment here, maybe crossed. And then with the left hand, Every time your sitting posture starts to feel uncomfortable, feel free to change your sitting posture. Oh God, did I hate to sit like this for a longer time of periods of time. So please feel free to change your sitting posture. And again, make sure you sit up on something. Good, bring your left hand to your right elbow and start to move your elbow around, circling in one side. But again, if you really want to have a specific lesson right now about your back, please tell me that you're here and tell me that you're interested in that and then we're doing that. Otherwise, um, I'm just going to do my, my kind of like program right now. Um, yeah, because I want, want it to make sense for the people that are here, right? So if you're interested in, to, in a more back-oriented uh, practice, please let me know. And there are quite some great practices, quite some pr great poses that I would have in store for you. Release, shake your arms, grab on with your right hand to your left elbow and swing your arm around. And if you're watching this on YouTube, of course, we are live every day. So feel free to join in and ask away if you have any questions. Oh yeah, by the way, I wanted to change the, the title of, of these sessions a little bit more. Good, and release. Whew, how did that feel? And slowly, slowly. Now we're starting to stand up. So transitioning in yoga is half of yoga. So make sure you transition slowly, 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 mindfully standing up between the poses. Feel how your body is moving, feel where the weight is, and slowly stand up, taking care of your body as you're standing up. From here, from here, move your feet like hip width distance apart. Good. And we start to jump. We start to jump out of the heels. No, sorry, we start to jump out of the 
knees first. <laughs> it's early, it's early. Releasing the shoulders and the neck a lot, a lot. But connecting with what kind of muscles are used here in this jumping motion. Releasing the shoulders and the neck. Great. Should feel really good to you. And if there's some pain in your body, which happened to me quite frequently that I had pain here, listen to your pain and please just come out of it. This is so important that you're listening to your body. If there's some pain, listen to it and just stand for a moment and wait for us to go to the next pose and try it again another day. Maybe then the pain is gone. It's other day. And if you like, jump out of the heels to intensify. Otherwise, stay with the knees. So jumping out of the heels and reconnecting the heels to the floor. And then jumping out of the toes and reconnecting with the toes and the heels. And release completely, coming to the floor, coming to stand, that feels good to you. Great. Whew. Let's bring the chin to the right shoulder, looking over the right shoulder. Release the shoulders down as good as you can. And we're focusing on our breath right here, right now. So make sure. You don't wear any kind of like, first of all, before we, do, we start, make sure you don't wear any kind of like waist restriction, <laughs> kind of like a heavy belt or something that is really like, <clears throat> like putting a lot of pressure on your belly. Make sure you don't have that and release maybe the, the pressure here on your belly a little. So you can breathe in better. So for example, I, I, I'm not a hypocrite right now. Let's do that. Let's just open here. Trousers a little, little bit more. So you have less pressure on your belly. And this is, this does really a thing. This, this helps immensely. It's just a little. Yeah, it's not really, it's not really moving. <laughs> It's kind of a kind, I can loosen it, but nothing happens. So yeah, <laughs> but maybe something happens with you. So if there's less pressure there, it's, it's easier to breathe in. And even if that's just little, little tiny less pressure, it makes a big difference. So good. Bring the chin to the right shoulder and breathe in deep into your belly and then into your chest and not pushing your chin more to the right, not doing that, but breathing in more and then breathing out, looking to the left, left shoulder breathing in deep into the belly, the chest. And releasing to the right. We begin deep. And breathing out to the left. Having your shoulders down, don't draw your shoulders up. Let's go two more, one more time each side. Looking over to the right, breathing in deep. Uh, using your breath as a tool here. So 
So what does using your breath as a tool mean? Change the side last time. We want to breathe in deep, so you maybe feel a stretch through the breath. So we're breathing in so deep that maybe there will be a stretch. Great, and release, come back into the middle and bring your right ear to the right shoulder. Release the shoulders down as good as you can. Chin a little bit to the back, great. And again, using your breath as a tool, breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. And breathing out, releasing, head forward and down, changing to the left side. And breathing out, letting the head forward and down. Right here to the right shoulder, using your breath as a tool again. Last time, changing, having your shoulders down. And release your head forward and down and bring your head up. Great job. Shake your arms, shake your shoulders. How do your shoulders feel right now? Um, let's go a little bit further. We have done it yesterday. We have done some sun salutations yesterday. We're doing it again. And again, I like to make it as precise as I possibly can. And again, there's Let's go a little bit more into back bend, back um, releasing exercises. As I just have it in mind right now, <laughs> so it just came up yesterday. I think it's the good, a good thing to do. But afterwards, after the sun salutation, which is also great for your back. Don't get me wrong here. Bring your arms up. Breathe in deep. Get long from your feet to the top of the fingers. Feel your feet connected with the earth. Feel. The fingers pointing up and extend your fingers away from each other if you like. And breathe out, bending the knees, hinging at the hips. Coming forward and down, breathing in, lifting halfway, check in with your lower spine that it's that the vertebras are not sticking out. If they are sticking out, then come up a little bit higher, honoring where you are. They're not sticking out, go a little bit deeper, have your hips over the heels, breathing out, placing your hands down on the mat, push into the mounds of the fingers, claw the fingers a little bit, step back. Good. And first time, so there's multiple things here. Push in through the mounds of the fingers, super important. Mounds of the fingers connected with the floor. I'm telling each each yoga lesson have your shoulders forward have your hips forward upward and from there push up with your arms as much as you can push up with your legs as much as you can your back as much as you can and start shaking with your whole body that's the goal you want to push up so much you want to start shaking with your whole body and Shifting a little bit your hips more up into the sky. Feel your mounds of the fingers connected with the floor. Feel the fingers claw, claw the fingers, hips up into the sky. Bend your knees a little. Great. Your shoulders still a little bit up. So we don't hang through completely through the shoulders. You have them up still. Great. And from here, release your knees down. Let's take a little bit of a break right now. Bring your knees to the sides. Big toes together and release. Bring your arms forward to your sides. Bring your shoulders away from each other. Release your head down. Deep, the belly into the chest. And again, make sure that you a lot of pressure uh, 
yoga is a supporting practice that you do beside yoga. Yoga kind of intensifies it. And like benefit as well. Again. So then back on your heels. So either tuck your toes in or untuck them. Sitting back on your heels. Feel the so the knees are forward. And quickly we're just doing this little exercise where you push the mounts of the fingers into each other. So mounts of the fingers is where the fingers are attached. Push them into each other and let the fingers down and push the mounts of the fingers into each other and feel the mounts of the fingers connected with each other. Release again and go again five times. Push it in, claw the fingers a little bit maybe, release. And again, in. Feel the mounts of the fingers connected and release. And in again. Great job, you're doing great. And release. And push in again. Release. Last time, pushing in. Feel all the mounts of the fingers connected. And release, shake your wrists out. Why are we doing this? We want to make sure that we protect our wrists here, especially in downward facing dog. And this is not sun salutation. What are we doing right now? Sun salutation is a sequence that we're going to do, that we come back to now as we kind of like getting warmed up. Bring your arms forward, push into the mounts of the fingers, claw your fingers a little bit, tuck your toes in and shift your hips up into the sky. Good job. And from here, walk your heels up and down. How you see your body feeling? Have your shoulders still a little bit up? Doing amazing. You are doing amazing. Again, here, mounts of the fingers connected. There's nothing, no air between the mounts of the fingers. Because if you're doing this, all the weight is on the wrists. And we don't want that. We want to have the mounts of the fingers connected. So some of the weight goes down through the hands. Good. And this is also very, very important in handstands. Handstand. Good. And then shift your hips even a little bit more up. Your shoulders stay a little up. And from there, look forward to your wrist. Breathe in deep. And come forward and down, elbows close to your body, come down 90 degrees, release your hips down, release your body down. Extend your feet, or flat, the feet flat on the floor, the knees, push them into the floor, the toes are pushed into the floor, all the toes, even the pinky toe. And from there, lift the body forward and up, so you feel a little back bend in your back. Your head is in line, aligned, sorry, your head is an extension of the spine. So it's looking down 45 degrees. And from there, push yourself back up through the knees, up to downward facing dog. So tuck your toes in and push your hips up into the air again. Great. From there, breathe in deep. And slowly walk forward as you're breathing out with your feet. Bend at the knees. Bring your hands to the hips, elbows pointing upward and stand up with a straight back. Bring your arms up into the sky. And bring your hands in front of the heart together. See how your body feels right now. Close your eyes for a moment. Check in with your body. How is your body feeling right now? Is it a little warm already? Or are you feeling cold? Good. And then release your arms, opening your eyes. Shake the arms. And let's go another time. Now a little bit faster and really some salutation. So let's go two times. So bring your arms up. Breathing in. 
Focusing on the breath right now. Breathing out, folding forward. Breathing in, lifting halfway. Breathing out, falling forward, fall. Place your hands down, stepping back. Breathing out here. And breathing in, come forward and down. Elbows close to your body, release your hips down. Release the feet down. Feet are pushing into the floor, knees are pushing into the floor and lift yourself forward and up. Breathing in, your elbows are pointing to the feet. Your head is an extension of the spine. So not looking up with your head, but it's looking forward, important. Your shoulder blades are under the back. If you don't understand something, please let me know. Shift yourself back through the knees and then up into the sky into downward facing dog, hips up into the sky. If you're, you can also do that move on in one. I'm breathing in here, looking between the wrists and start walking forward. Reach up, bend your knees, bring your hands to your hips, straight back coming up. Breathing in, bring your arms up into the sky, slight back bend, draw the belly in and up, great. And forward fold, breathing out, breathing in, lifting halfway, breathing out, folding forward, stepping back, breathing in, coming forward to plank and then down 90 degrees of your elbows, breathing out, release your hips down, think forward and up as you're breathing in. So pulling forward and up with your arms. Mounts of the fingers are connected with, to the floor. Breathing in, shift yourself back. Downward facing dog. Looking between the wrists. And as you're breathing out, start walking forward. Bend your knees, elbows pointing upward. Straight back. Bring your arms up into the sky. Breathing out, bring your hands in front of the heart together, close your eyes, check in with your body again. How is your body doing? Good, and release your arms, open the eyes, welcome back. Shake your wrists, shake your feet a little, and again we're going into one little tie. Tai Chi, tai chi, tai chi um, movement. So what we're doing is we're engaging the knees and engaging the thighs. So we are not moving the knees here. Engaging the, the knees and the thighs, a lot, a lot. Releasing all the muscles in the arms. And we start to move from the belly button to the left and then to the right and again to the left and to the right and just release your arms let them kind of like give the arms impulses and let the impulses grow and grow find your rhythm that works for you keep your knees and your thighs engaged as much as you can moving out of your belly great job looking to the right and to the left or optional, you can also look straight forward. But focusing on your belly, belly button moves. Great job. Great body control. You're amazing. Great. Release your shoulders a lot. Feel how, how it's juicy through your whole spine. Also the Arms are smashing against your lower back and releasing your lower back as well. So it should feel really, really good in your lower back. Your wrists should feel really good. The whole spine should be juicy and <laughs> good. And from there, focusing one more time, engage your knees and your thighs a lot. Before we release, close your eyes. 
and release slowly, releasing, not stopping, releasing. And when you're released, feel, maybe you can feel the impulses going left and right through your body. If you can feel that, that is where your center of your body lies. From the center, open your eyes again. We're leaning slightly forward to your toes. Good. Then to the right. As far as you can control it, have both of the feet connected to the floor, to the back. To the left. Additionally, you can challenge yourself by releasing the hands completely, the arms completely. So the arms are not balancing. It's a little harder. And to the right. And to the back. Right. To the left. forward and change the direction if you haven't already take your time going through there other side leaning to every direction both feet connected to the floor Smiling, don't forget to smile. You're amazing, doing great. Feeling where's, where's like the limit to leaning. And then next time you come forward, root your feet down. The middle, uh, the second toe is like pointing forward. So draw from your knees kind of like draw on your shin bone down and then draw a line forward to your second toe. Good. And from there. Feel your toes connected to the ground. Feel the big toe mount. So just below the big toe connected to the floor, the outer sides of the feet connected to the floor and the heels connected to the floor. And through these four points, we want to shift all the weight through these four points. So if the toes don't have any weight, try to bring there some weight. If the outer edges of the feet don't have any weight, bring there some weight. If the big toe mount doesn't have any weight, bring there some weight. You can close your eyes if you wish to. And also connect with your heels. Do they also have some weight? Coming like this into like a really balanced position for your feet. How does that feel to you? Good. Knowing that if you're rooted, knowing that if you're really rooted down, you have so much more energy in your upper body. So much more energy. So next time, maybe you're doing some, some, um, martial arts or something else that needs like stability and balance. Focus on your feet really a lot first. Feel this connection with the ground and from there feel how you can move your body in whatever kind of direction with so much more energy. Good. Feel the different quality of movement moving in your upper body as you're rooted down. Great. And from there, let's take it a little deeper and let's do one Tadasana. So Tadasana, you know, is an easy pose, is an art pose. Every, every posture in yoga can be quite explained deeply and made hard. And I like to explain it uh, fruitfully, so deeply, and feel free to come with me on this little journey right now. So what we're doing is we're pushing the feet a little bit apart. So pushing like this apart, wherever you stand. Good. Then we're drawing the chin, shin bones like together, the lower legs, we're drawing them together. 
the knees, we're engaging them inward and up. Meanwhile, keeping all of this action, we are bringing the hands here quickly. And when we have the hands on the thighs, we turn the thighs inward and back. Meanwhile, we're connecting with the knees, the, the lower legs, the feet, we're doing all the kind of movements. You have the knees engaged, turning the thighs inward and back. Great. Well, it creates, this creates a, a natural round in your lower spine. And we want to kind of like soften that roundedness a little bit by drawing the belly button in and up. Keeping all of these actions, bring the chest a little bit more in. Great, bring your shoulder blades to the back, your shoulders a little bit to the back and bring your arms up into the sky. Keeping all these actions, you should feel, you start to feel it throughout your body. You maybe shake a little bit. Go again throughout these actions. Have you, are you still doing all these actions? Did you lose some actions? Go back through them in your head and release down. Great job. So, just need to do it again and again and slowly you get there. Shake your legs out, shake your arms out. Doing amazing. Good. And let's come slowly, come slowly down to your mat. Take your time coming down. We want to have the belly face facing the mat. We're just doing a sphinx pose. Then we're doing some other stretches and we're finishing it up. So come down with your belly down. Bring your shoulders over the elbows. Bring your fingers forward. So shoulders over the elbows, fingers forward. And what we want to feel here is a lower back and just a little tiny bit and if you don't feel anything that's also good this is really for your lower back here and we want to recreate a natural rounding in your lower back and this is a releasing this is a one pose to release like the lower back strain and we just stay here and your head is not like up like this or completely like looking straight forward but it's released in line with the spine Exactly, extension of the spine. So it's looking a little bit down, forward and down. You can play around with your shoulder position a little bit. So feel free to explore. Maybe they are a little bit engaged. Maybe they are more to the back. How does, does it feel and not engaged? Shoulder blades onto the back together, for example. Or you can engage them. Feel free to explore. Your feet are a little bit connected with the ground. Your knees are connected with the ground. Your belly, you can engage your belly a little bit as well. Good, how does that feel? And we just stay here for another minute. Feel free to explore, be playful with this position. Even if, you're, if it looks like you're not doing anything, you can engage and disengage muscles and feel, feel something different in your lower back or throughout your whole body. You can also engage or extend the fingers away from each other and push with the mounts of the fingers into the ground. Does this change this position? Good. Count down, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release. Make a pillow with your hands. Lay your head down on this pillow. Great. Amazing. Even deep into the belly, into the chest. Mm, release. Good job. Okay. Let's 
slowly. Turn yourself around. So, in any kind of way, transitioning slowly. Be aware how you're moving. This is important. Extend your legs. And lie back down on your back. And from here, bring your knees up. Grab on below the knees or up on the on the thighs, uh, on the lower legs, and kind of like no, it's better if you grab onto the thigh and roll forward and backward, giving yourself a little bit of a uh, also great for your back. A little massage. Don't go overboard, like. But be soft here. And from here, release your ankles down, close to your belly, uh, close to your butt. Bring your elbows down, and from here, lift your hips up. Lift your hips up. Keep your knees together. Have an intention in the knees to keep them together otherwise they are kind of moving falling away from each other like this so we're keeping the knees together over the heels great job from here looking over the head so imagine looking over the head if your eyes as far as you can and breathing deep into your belly into your chest you can interlace the fingers behind your back don't look at me here right now but just listen to what i'm telling you if you don't understand something don't worry about it too much And then release, slowly, slowly. This is the practice that we want to do. Release the vertebras down to the floor, slowly, slowly. Not just push, but vertebra by vertebra, reconnecting to the floor. Good job. Extend the legs. Legs are facing away from each other, arms are lying by your side. If you need to do some other exercise before coming into Shavasana, please feel free to do it. And we are just doing a short Shavasana. So extend your legs. Feet are facing away from each other. Arms are lying by your sides and palms are pointing up towards the sky. And let me tell you why we're doing Shavasana. So Shavasana is the concluding practice. Let's, let's you help, help you to finish something up. So we're finishing up working with the body right now. We're coming out of it. It doesn't matter if you work afterwards again with your body at one point or directly, but we're finishing up what we've just done. Good. So just be, just be. I'll get you out from Shavasana in just a minute. your eyes closed just be
Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers. Start to move your toes. And whenever you're ready, come back to your body and bring your knees in towards your belly. Have your eyes still closed. Bring your knees in towards your belly and shift yourself to either the left or the right side, coming to lie down on your side body. So I'm coming to lie down on your side body, making it comfortable for yourself. And from there, softening the skin of the face releasing the tension of your tongue, the neck, your shoulders, releasing the tension in your arms, your elbows, your wrists, your fingers, the chest, the belly, your whole back, the hips, the legs, the knees, the ankles, the heels, the toes. And again, breathing in deep, into your belly, into your chest. Give yourself the permission to breathe deeply. As you're breathing in deep, feel lighter and lighter. And as you're breathing out, feel connected to the earth again. Feel heavy. And one more time, breathing in deep. Feel lighter and lighter, breathing deep, 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 deep. Breathing out, feel heavier and heavier. And with your next breath, lift yourself up into a final sitting pose. Breathing deep in. Bring your hands in front of the heart together. Honoring your yoga practice today. Wish you a wonderful rest of the day. And I hope to see you very soon again. Namaste. The emptiness inside of me recognizes the emptiness inside of you. Release the hands, opening the eyes. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, my name is Marcel. And I'm not alone here, but I'm joined by Sean. Ooh. Sean is here for energy, entertainment and motivation. And I'm here for support, the questions and the instructions, of course. And if you like to join in again, we're doing yoga here every day. We're doing also meditation here every day from 6.30 onwards, Central European time, 7 o'clock meditation and 7 o'clock for 45 minutes approximately, a little bit longer sometimes, 5 to 10 minutes longer sometimes. And if you like to join in, feel free to come by. Other than that, all these live stream sessions are uploaded to YouTube. So if you'd like to check that out, feel free to head over to YouTube, subscribe and hit the bell there. Even more, we're doing podcasts every two weeks at the moment. So I'm the host of the Health, Health Skill podcast. So if you'd like to check in there, uh, we have some podcasts for you. It should be all in the about section below. And next podcast coming up is together with Weiger Habitus and we will be talking about nutrition. Uh, it's going to be amazing. So uh, nutrition for beginners, kind of like where you get the information from, like what you should eat and so, so forth. So from there going further. Yeah. And Weiger Habitus is an expert nutritionalist. So we really can expect something there. 
Next to that, next to that, we have also a Discord. If you like, if you have any questions, ideas, or suggestions, feel free to either drop it here in the chat live or head over to the Discord and connect with the people in the Discord. And I wish you a wonderful rest of the day. That was it. And I appreciate every follow here on Twitch. And you guys, let's go rate somebody. Let's go rate somebody and share some love. Again, in the chat, you put your favorite emote, then write down um, rating with love. And put your favorite emote again. So like this, like this, um, we are going to raid. Let's see who we can raid today. Um, a lot of people are online. Let me quickly go over to and see who's, who else is online. Oh, Whittle is online. Whittle is playing Fall Guys, you know. Let's head over to Whittle. Whittle was here uh, sometimes and did some practices with us uh, sometimes. Uh, probably he was just streaming today, so that's good. Uh, let's go over to Whittle 50 million, I think he's called, right? And he's playing Fall Guys. And with that said, share, share some love with him. Um, have a wonderful day. Thank you for practicing with me today. And I hope to see you very soon again. Bye bye. And always feel free to ask in the, qu in ch in the chat, right? I'm here for you. Bye bye. See you very soon. Bye 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 bye. And Sean, will you do the honor of pressing the button? Yeah, sure. I'm doing either way everything. So let me do all of that. <laughs> Please click, Sean. Click, click. He, he's he's doing his best to click. He can't click. Okay. He would. Okay. 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 I help you a little, Sean. Bye, guys. Woo. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, sorry, Sean. Ha, ha, ha.